exciting opportunity now. And BodyLine takes a unique approach. We don't think about EMF waves. We think about the damage they're doing to the body. So we're put using traditional Chinese medicine to see what's happening. What can we signal to the body to push it back up to where it belongs? If you use a trimeter and you walk around and look for sensitive areas for um, signaling for EMS, you're going to find that cell phones emit a lot of EMS. You're going to put this product on there and you're going to see, well, I didn't have any change in my meter. And that's good because if I was to significantly drop those EMF waves, your phone would not work. I'd have to build a metal cage around it, shun it to ground. So those energies would hit it, go around the cage, down into the, to earth, back to ground. And our bodies would be um, well protected, but we wouldn't have the ability to use any of the wireless devices. So what I did was saying, okay, we know that it damages the body. What can I do to reverse what's happening in the body? And this is how this product was born. It didn't take the more classic approach of trying to modify EMF waves. It took more of an understanding of biology and traditional Chinese medicine to say, what can I do to the body to stop that negative impact? Very intriguing. So we're, we're working from the solution side, not necessarily the cause side. So we're working on the reaction base basis exactly. of how it's reacting with the body and therefore calming and, and pacifying the body versus the, the preventative where, yeah, where we would actually have to shut down. With, right. You can't live in a world without without EMS, Rob. They're just they exist everywhere. They're terrestrial. They're from the sun provides EMF energies hitting the the you know, entire cosmos provides EMFs that, that hit the body. So it'd be nearly impossible for you to build a Faraday cage and and exist where you could have any sort of communication or quality of life. You'd have to, if you were to walk, you'd have to have this cage around you and drag a metal chain to move that energy down to ground and get it out of the way. Okay, I see Faraday cages. I see other companies advertising products that modify or they absorb some of the EMF. And that's really good. That's one approach to doing it. But I'm more worried about what's going on in the body and how can technology use to get the body to ramp back up and take care of itself. And that's what that's what we're all about. You need a galvanic skin response. Okay, like you would on a lie detector in order to see kind of the difference that we're making in the body before or after, or people do muscle testing ways for to see if the signaling to the body is creating that biological change. So there's certain techniques to measure the efficacy of a product, but you wouldn't find any change in a, a trimeter measuring the actual EMS emitted by the phone. We certainly don't go into that category. I could build you one. It would be gigantic. It would be bigger than a printer where I would have to have multiple antennas listening to all the EMFs around you your neighbor's Wi-Fi, your other neighbor's Wi-Fi, a Linksys Wi-Fi versus the Cisco, you know, I would have the infinite number of signals coming in. I have to process the signals and output the direct opposite. If it was going high, then I have to do a low so they cancel each other out so your body wouldn't get that. That would be very expensive. The lights would dim in your house when you plugged it in because we'd have the very active filtering, very active transmission and absorption so we could provide you the counter signal to, to get rid of that energy. And that's just not practical in our lives. Uh, you would certainly, I've seen them in schools now, there's some products in school that they have to shut off the Wi-Fi's where the students can't get the Wi-Fi or get to their cell towers because they're able to create these um, signal generators that would provide the opposite signal and just make it so you couldn't use your cell phone or a Wi-Fi box in, in a school. So that's uh, that's um, something more you're going to see in Europe where they really struggle with EMS and passed a lot of legislation to make certain that um, um, Wi-Fi boxes and, and cell towers weren't very close to schools. But here in the States, we don't have those sort of rules yet. So we're not impeding the EMF fields that are required for the communication between data and cell phones, tablets and Wi-Fi. We're not impeding any of those we're just right. really working on the effect that it has within the body. And therefore, we can enjoy all of our technologies because we don't want a, a case to shut it down <laughs> our phone because we do actually need to, to use these amazing technologies. Um, and with the advent of 5G, I know that there's a, a lot of information out there about the dangers of 5G. Um, I did notice that there's a, a, a few people mentioning about the heat from phones, uh, the tingling in hands. Uh, so we're definitely seeing more and more of that uh, appearing. Uh, our life through. is filled. I call it digital toxicity, uh, Rob. It's it's just our bodies are just so overloaded with this these EMF energies hitting us. We go to this 
toxicity range where it does everything from the mind. We can't sleep well to headaches, to jitteriness. We don't metabolize well. So you're going to see people all over the place when they describe their symptoms. Almost everything that people describe to me that, that pushes their wellness down, almost all can be attributed in some level to the EMS in their area. And it's amazing. They're like, yeah, I started getting headaches. And I'm like, go outside and go for a walk and see if you see a new cell tower put up that you hadn't seen before. And sure enough, almost all the time people come back and go, yep, there's a brand new cell tower. It looks like they made some changes in a cell tower right near my home. And I said, welcome to 5G. Welcome to these micro cells that the at and of the world and the Verizons of the world are doing just to get 5G closer to your home, closer to your where your phone is, so they can give you more and more and more bandwidth, more and more frequencies, more and more energies.